How much XP do you have? Go ahead and check. Let me know in the comments. Because I bet it's nowhere near the world record holder's XP count. As a matter of fact, I bet there's not one single world record in today's video that you can beat. You know why? Because I can't beat any of them, and I know life this game. Starting with world record number one, most Pokemon caught in one hour. This record is absolutely absurd and may seem fake, but after watching some videos of this player catching Pokemon as if he existed in two times speed, it makes more sense. On May 17th, during Magikarp Spotlight Hour, a player by the name of Redheart715 set an incredible record of 983 Pokemon caught in one hour. How? Speed catching. By using Era Plus mode combined with the quick catching technique, you can technically catch one Pokemon every 3.6 seconds. Even with these pro strats, finding a place that can yield a thousand spawns in one hour seems pretty much impossible. But according to the Reddit post which reported this record, areas with this many spawns are pretty uncommon and require a huge amount of research and routing to optimize. However, most major cities will have a route that can pull 500 to 700 catches an hour during spawn boosted events. Getting any higher than that definitely requires a great play box in addition to near flawless mechanical skill. So this probably took military level strategic planning just to find the walking path that could get enough spawns. And there was one more thing that helped with this record. Magikarp, the snack that smiles back. Magikarp has a 0.7 base catch rate, which is one of the highest in the entire game. It is the ideal Pokemon for a world record run. And actually, according to the major world record website that Red Heart showed on his Twitter, he apparently beat his previous record during the May 24th Seal Spotlight Hour. This new record is apparently an insane 1,157 catches in one hour with screenshot proof that it happened. Either way, a wild accomplishment by this trainer. Number two, the world's longest held gym. If I log into my Pokemon Go account and check my gym leader badge, it's embarrassing. Even more embarrassing when looking at the world record for the longest single held gym in the world. On July 1st, 2021, an article was published with the title, World Record, Japanese Trainer Holds Gym for 1,422 Days and Counting in Pokemon Go. 1,422 days. Surely this must be a fluke, because 1,422 days comes out to exactly three years and 325 days that one Pokemon spent in one single gym. And how it happened was apparently incredible. The trainer who accomplished this record was actually a professor at the University of Tokyo who was on a business trip to Zhenyang, China. As many of us know, you can't actually play Pokemon Go in China. So how did he do it? According to the trainer, I didn't usually have free access to the internet there, but for some reason, I was able to access my Google account that morning. During a lunch break, I wandered into a suburb with my iPhone set to roaming. After catching a few Pokemon, I found a gym and left a Blissey in there. And apparently the game's map was super distorted with the in-game roads several meters away from the actual real life roads. And he also stated, China's internet is so tightly regulated that you can't start up Pokemon Go normally. But I'm dreaming of the day that my Blissey will finally be set free. This is an insane record and an insane story, but apparently it might not actually be the world record. According to a website that closely tracks all Pokemon Go world records, the record is actually held by a trainer named Dusk Piper at 1,683 days, with no mention of the Japanese professor's record. Weird. But either way, having a Pokemon in a gym for nearly four years, insane. Number three, most lifetime XP. If you're an avid fan of Pokemon Go content, you'll know exactly who holds this record. A man who shares my very own first name and is a better version of me. He's, he's the better Brandon. Brandon Ta 91 a fellow Pokemon Go content creator, holds an absolutely unobtainable lifetime XP record. On January 28th, 2022, he uploaded a video titled Highest Level in the World on Pokemon Go, so am I going to retire from the XP grind? In the video, he shows off his most recent lifetime XP milestone at 3 billion XP. Billion. That's with a B. And this was back in January. It's August. Fun fact, actually, XP used to be broken in Pokemon Go for top players. For some reason, 2 billion was some sort of glitched XP wall, where if a player reached 2 billion XP, instead of the number going up as more XP was gained, it went down. Does that make sense? Eventually this glitch was fixed, but it was like a good meme in the XP grinder community for a while. Well, in the world record video, Brandon talks about a new grind. The grind of our Lord and Savior. XL Candy. With the introduction of XL Candy, many top players shifted their record setting XP grind to a more XL Candy focused grind, Brandon included. XP is a flex, but XLs 
Those are some of the most useful things in the game. But fortunately, whatever you do for XLs also gives you XP, so we all win. But massive shout out to Brandon. I'll leave his YouTube link in the description below. Number four, most legendaries caught in a row. This will be fun. Go in your Pokedex, go in your Pokedex and comment down below your ratio on Mewtwo seen versus caught. Mine is currently 646 seen and 592 caught. It's not bad, not a bad ratio. Well, imagine catching over a thousand Mewtwo in a row. On June 19th, 2022, Crazy Pidgey Lady tweeted out, the streak is finally over. This is bittersweet as it was a huge burden trying to keep up with it. I would love to know if anyone has the streak beat with any other legendary. And looking at the screenshots, you can see that she was able to catch 1,260 Mewtwo in a row. 1,260 Mewtwo without a single one fleeing. Do you know how hard that is? <laughs> I mean, even raiding 1200 Mewtwo is incredible by itself. That is literally double what I've done and I thought I grinded. And this record requires a couple of key things. A, enough friends to even invite you to 1200 Mewtwo raids because doing that by yourself is impossible. B, high level friends always being in the raids with you so that you had extra premier balls to be able to guarantee the catch. And C, patience. Hitting an excellent throw on Mewtwo every single time would drive me crazy. <laughs> Honestly incredible, absolute claps, something I could never do. Number five, most lifetime catches. Let's do another fun thing. Check your collector medal in your profile and tell me down below in the comments how many Pokemon lifetime you've caught. I am currently at 187,487. Not bad. Well, the next world record holder is gonna make us look like day one Christmas noobs. On June 23rd, 2022, a tweet went out from Kyar Arena with the world record most lifetime caught Pokemon. And the tweet reads, achieved three million captures. Famous people tweeted a congratulatory tweet, so I thought I shouldn't post it, but I'll keep it for your records. I didn't do a commemorative raid, but thank you to those who prepared the avatars. I'm glad that people who aren't friends with raids have avatars. Basically to commemorate this amazing achievement, a lot of top players changed their avatars uh, to match the pose and look of Kai Arena, which was a very cool thing. But three million catches. <laughs> Pokemon Go was released on July 6th, 2016. That is 2,209 days before this record was set. Which means Kai Arena had to catch an average of 1,358 Pokemon every day since the game released. I'll be honest with you, I don't know if I've ever caught over a thousand Pokemon in one day in my entire life. <laughs> that is amazing. Number six, most Pokemon caught in 24 hours. If you thought an average of 1,300 Pokemon per day was crazy, check this. On March 11th, 2021, an article from Hypebeast released showing off a new Pokemon Go world record. A Japanese Pokemon Go player who goes by the name at Haro Tirota has successfully set the record for the most Pokemons caught in a day. Traveling approximately 80 miles and catching eight Pokemons per minute, the player's final tally was 11,400 Pokemons in 24 hours. He caught 139 shiny Pokemon as well. Kek W at them using Pokemons with an S. And this record was actually set during Fletchling Community Day, which explains the 139 shinies. But oh my God, 11,400 Pokemon caught in 24 hours. That That is absurd, I don't even, I don't even know. And apparently the most difficult part about catching these 11,400 Pokemon wasn't catching the Pokemon, but making sure he had enough balls to do it. He also sent out a tweet when he hit this record, which read, the last community day for students captured 11,400 animals in 24 hours. There were 139 different colors. It was quite difficult to balance the balls. Thank you for the support. The foot is a stick. Thank you for your hard work. Now I've done challenges where I've hatched 100 eggs in 24 hours or done 100 rays in 24 hours, but catching over 10,000 Pokemon in 24 hours, way out of my skill level. If you think you could beat any of these world records today, let me know which one down in the comments. And if you enjoyed, check out the other videos on the screen and I'll see you in there. Take care, peace.